Hi everyone, uh, in this video we'll learn how to find the factorial of a number using while loop. So let's start. I'm using BlueJ editor. You can use any other editor if you want. And uh, let's start by creating a new class. So name of the class is factorial. Um, okay. And click on OK. And uh, you get this icon. Right click on this and open editor. Okay. And maximize the screen. And uh, let's delete these comments because they are not required and these lines of code also we will delete. Okay, and let's delete this code also. Change the return type of the method to void and uh, let's change the name of the method also to cal. And we are going to find the factorial of a number and the number we will pass as parameter. So let's pass int n. Okay, now first let's understand what is the factorial of a number. Uh, let's suppose 4. So what is the factorial of 4? Factorial of 4 would be 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So that is 4 is a 12, 12 is a 24. So that is 24 is the factorial of 4. What is the factorial of 5? It would be 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So which is 120. So this is how we find the factorial of a number. Now how do we find it in Java? So if you see, uh, let's suppose the number is 4. So if the number is 4, the factorial is we keep on multiplying the product, we keep on multiplying with the next uh, decrease, keep on decreasing the value till it is 1. We keep on decreasing the number till it is greater than or equal to 1 and we keep on multiplying the result with the previous number. So let's see how this can be done. n is the number whose factorial is to be found. So we'll take a variable int f. Okay. And uh, we initialize f to be 1. And now, we start with while loop while f or while n is greater than or equal to 1. Open the curly braces of while. Here you will write f is equal to f into n. And next you will write n minus minus. Close the curly braces and outside you will print f. f is the factorial of a number. So this is all we need to do to find the factorial of a number. So let's understand how this will work. Let's suppose the number entered by the user is 4. Okay. Let's suppose n is equal to 4. Now if n is 4, initially what is the value of f? Let's take two variables n and we have another variable which is 4, uh, f. Okay. These are the two variables which we have taken. Now what is the initial value of n? Let's suppose the number entered by the user is 4. The initial value of f is 1. So it enters the loop, uh, 4 is greater than 1. So here, when we come here, what is the value of f? It is 1. And so f into n, that means 1 into 4. So what is the new value of f? It is 4. So the new value of f is 4. And what does n become? n minus minus. That means n becomes 4 minus 1. This is post decrement operator. It means n is equal to n minus 1. So 4 minus 1. So we get the new value of, f, uh, of n is 3. Now again it goes up 3 is greater than 1. So now what is the value of f? f into n that means 4 into 3. So the new value of f is 12 and n becomes n minus minus. So the last value of n was 3. So it becomes 3 minus 1 that is it becomes 2. Okay. Now 2 is again greater than or equal to 1. So again f into n that means the last value of f is 12. So 12 into 2. So the new value of f becomes 24. 12 into 2 and n becomes 2 minus 1 that is 1 okay now again 1 is greater than equal to 1 so again it comes here so it is 24 into 1 so f remains 24 and n becomes minus minus n minus minus so the last value of n was 1 so 1 minus 1 gives us 0 so when n becomes 0 the condition becomes false 0 is not greater than or equal to 1 so it will come out of the loop to this statement the moment the condition is false it comes to this statement which is immediately after the loop and here we print f so this should print 24 so this is how the logic of the factorial uh, will work now let's delete this code and uh, let's save this by pressing ctrl s and let's compile the program and uh, you should get this message no syntax errors if you get no syntax errors then you minimize this uh, window and now you right click on this and new factorial click on this okay this will create an instance of the new factorial of the factorial class uh, click on ok once you create an instance you will get this icon here you right click and choose this method void cal 
when you run this method it will ask you to enter a number whose factorial you want to find so let's enter 4 and say ok so you see the factorial of 4 is 24 let's uh, try for some other number again right click and then choose this method let's enter 5 and say ok so what is the factorial of 5 it is 120 so this is the right answer so this is how we can find the factorial of a number